show like the planets, we have to create somewhere in the region of two and a half hours of CG and VFX for this series. It's absolutely huge. We have quite a bit of experience um, recreating everything from the Big Bang to the death of the universe. So we've in the past covered most of the subject matter. More ball. What we have to do with scientists is get a grasp of the physics and then try and represent that in an interesting way for the viewer. When we take on a job like this, we, we tend to start from a storyboard, from a page, and a, a drawing or a piece of concept art, and just find some interesting aspect to the, to the process that we can do something different with. We're trying to get away from this sci-fi, Star Trek, Star Wars kind of look that conveys this sort of big empty space out there. A lot of black, a lot of very, very slow camera moves. We try and shoot elements for the image or we, we shoot scenarios when we can in a studio um, and combine that with um, more conventional sort of 3D CG images and mash it up and sometimes just use um, something from NASA maybe as a background. We might go to the location and shoot a landscape and then replace the sky with a you know black sky and a giant Saturn. We have a scene at the beginning of our solar system where the sun's just formed and Jupiter formed at the same time. Um, so this bowling ball on a piece of metal is um, it's our Jupiter. It Basically I used this in a created an environment of gas and smoke and this was the prop that we, uh, we used for that. Um, I suppose when we get it into post-production we'll We'll add some Jupiter textures to it. Yeah, there's an awful lot of this sort of thing, creating explosions using sand and flour, and some of the Jupiter textures are sort of hammerite paint with petrol and some horrible solvents um, create these beautiful patterns. So we, we just experiment. We are currently setting up to show the core of Saturn, which the pressures are so great, apparently gases are turned into a sort of liquid metal. So we're going to be raining helium through compressed hydrogen. We are throwing some broken windscreen um, past the camera into some fog. We try and find effects that um, aren't rooted to a phenomena on Earth. That's where things tend to happen. Oh, it looks a little bit like a thunderstorm or a bit like a volcano or whatever. We, we just try and go really abstract, quite wacky. When we are in the studio, we have um, a storyboard frame or a concept image. From that, we break down the elements we need to recreate that image. So in the case of early Jupiter, for instance, we knew that we had to have um, a, a sphere um, that we had to then texture with gas and um, other material. And that then had to sit in a cloud of gas. Um, there had to be other bits of debris around. So. I'll shoot that as separate layers and then back here we take all those layers and we put them back together and adjust them and put them in front and behind and colour them to create the image. It's a bit like painting. So for one of the sequences in uh, the Saturn film we had to pass down through some of the most violent and enormous electrical storms in the solar system. We went to the internet and bought these antique single-use flash bulbs. We cover those in liquid nitrogen um, with boiling water, sends these massive clouds up around the bulbs and then we fire the bulbs off and it, it just gives a, a, a 2,000 frames a second makes it look absolutely enormous. Um, and then back here we take two or three passes of those, layer them together and create a giant storm. And it is quite good fun. Mm -hmm.